All right, so today we're doing a double patty smash burger on the cast iron. Got some uh, onions in there. It's gonna be delicious. Let's go. All right, we're gonna make a tanjong that is made with a four tablespoons of whole milk, two tablespoons of bread flour, and two tablespoons of water. We're gonna combine that over medium low heat until it makes a pasty boy. While that's cooling, we're gonna take our 100 Fahrenheit milk, whole milk preferably, and dissolve our yeast to bloom it. Next, I'm gonna add some salt and sugar to the dry flour, and I'm gonna whisk it with a fork. No, you don't, you don't have to use a fork though if you don't want to. All right, next we're gonna pop that flour mixture in the stand mixer, and we're gonna pour our yeasty milk into it. Start on a slow speed, just get everything nice and incorporated. We're gonna follow that up with one egg with an extra egg yolk that we're gonna just give time to incorporate before scraping down the sides a little bit because everything's getting pushed up. It's good to have a rubber spatula. And then we're gonna add our tonjong and uh, we're gonna add, I didn't include all of this, but that's me adding the butter a little bit out of a time before we start to beat it up like this. Once that bad boy is smooth, pop it out. You'll see it stretch from the bottom, but not tear. That's a good sign. We're gonna ball it up on the countertop there. You can see my tripod. And we're gonna use the tension of the counter to make a tot ball that we're gonna put in a greased bowl and cover with a plate, or you can use a towel. I, I mean, it's all, it's all good, it's all you. After one to two hours, it's huge. And we're gonna take out our anger on this in two, one. We're gonna pop that out on the counter and then divide it into six equal pieces. And if you're a perfectionist, by all means, weigh the whole mass and divide that number by six and make your dough balls accordingly. Fold everything to the center and shape it with, you know, either hand, you got two, pick one, just like this. Make sure it's nice, taut, and smooth. I'll give you a little shot of that in just a sec. Look at that. Then violently throw it down and give it a little pat down if you want them a little wider. Next, put a matching sheet tray over the top to proof for 30 more minutes before brushing lightly with egg wash. Go slow if you need to, cover every surface. Call this brush therapy, if you will. And then into the oven. Finish with some melted butter brushed over the top and those babies are good to go. All right, time to get a mandolin if you don't have one. I'm gonna shave some onions super thin. You get these little stringy bits just like this. I'm gonna put on a glove so I don't cut my hand apart as I make this tomato into a deck of cards. And lastly, the lettuce. Continue said shavery with the lettuce. Next up, some fatty bacon. We're gonna put this in the oven so it not only heats evenly, but it will fry in its own fat as it renders down and yield this kind of result. I mean, who's gonna complain about that? Look at that. Next up is burger sauce. We're gonna go in with mayonnaise first, the start of all great things, mustard, ketchup, one cat spoon of relish, spice mix that you'll see uh, detailed below in some apple cider vinegar. Give that a good mix. Check the consistency by swiping your finger through and tasting said finger. All right, now with your mouth open and with a real handsome look on your face just like me, feed your chuck through the feeder hole of your meat grinder. Make sure it's part way frozen to avoid any clogs. Trust me, this beats ground beef in the pre-packed containers by a mile. It's not mushy at all. All right, and now we're gonna weigh some four ounce balls of beef to be smashed. Just before we start searing our meat off, I like to prepare the buns. Take a look at the inside, looks awesome. We're gonna butter these and toast them. So we're gonna take the cat spoon again, 
try to scoop out some butter and realize uh, it's too cold and not worth it. All right, to your ripping hot skillet, we're gonna add a beef ball. And press down hard. Make sure to squish that down into the pan with the onions so everything gets nice and brown. Season up. And when the edges are nice and brown, just like this, go around with a flexible spatula of your choice and loosen up the edges before giving it a good flip. Once flipped, we're gonna add some cheese on top and I'm gonna torch it, cause you know, I really like the torch. All right, it's assembly time. We're gonna start with our buttered bun, a cat spoon or two of our sauce. We're gonna spread it relatively evenly per bun followed by an embarrassingly small amount of lettuce. I guess I'll make a salad later with all that extra. One patty, and two. Some seasoned tomato, don't forget to season your tomato slices. And we got two strips of that crispy bacon we're layering on top, all before putting the hat on top of this cowboy. Look at this piece of work. If you wanna make this recipe for yourself, check the description for exact measurements and ingredients. I got you, and uh, thanks for watching to the end. You have a good one.